Okay, last time we left off with the body. We're just getting the body close. And let's get out of here and unhide all so you can see where we're going. And let's do a leg. Let's do like, um, oh, this upper portion of this leg. So we'll go to right view and create. I like to use cylinders for these. And let's get a view on this, see how big it is. Try to get it somewhat close. I think that's too many sections. I think we only need one. And I like to use two caps or something like that. And um, sides 18 is too many, I think. That's a judgment call. And let's take uh, and make one more. Oh, we got that one. This is kind of quick and dirty, but certainly good enough for what we're doing right here. I'm going straight down. I'll tell you why in a second. We can rotate it later. Now, when it comes to cloning, I did a move with the shift key held down to get a clone. And I want a copy, not an instance, not a reference. Because I want this to be a separate, unique entity. Okay, so... You know, I kind of jumped the gun. Let's just pretty this up a little bit. Maybe not quite so thick. And uh, you have to ask yourself about, you know, early on, what do I want this thing to look like? Um, if I grab, let's just right click this and go to uh, convert to editable poly, and I'll grab these vertices on the inside. I just want to scale those to make them a little bit bigger. And uh, that moved them, didn't it? I didn't notice that. Let's do it again. Now, when you're scaling, if you grab this little YZ bar here, it'll just scale it in a plane. You don't want to scale it in X, Y, and Z, or it's going to look a little bit funny. And uh, let's just pull this out. So we'll grab. I'm going to try this. I'm going to do Control. Hold down my Control key and hit the uh, polygon sub-object mode. And see how it grabs polygons that were selected? But it grabbed too much, didn't it? So I'm going to go to Shrink. And it'll shrink the selection set. Notice that it's selected on both sides. And uh, we'll go ahead and bevel this out, but not too far. I'm kind of looking at the one that was modeled before. I'm trying to take a cue from that. Now how big should this be? Let's say that's OK. And let's do scale again. And again, scale it in X, Y. And then probably pull it back down in, bevel it in. And scale that up. I think we went one step too far. Let's try it again. Let's try an inset. That inset needs to be changed. We'll leave polygon mode. I'll go to select. And see what I grab this? It selects everything that the window crosses. So what I want is this kind of a window. Whoops. I want a uh, regular window. So I can window the stuff I want. It only grabs the stuff within the window, not the stuff that crosses the window. And let's just see if we can scale that up a little bit. And again, looking at the original, I think this needs to go in a little bit and see what happens when it does. That's a little bit better. That's getting close to something with some, you know, some definition. Okay, so now we have one of those. Now we can make our copy. You don't want to copy it too soon. So we'll hold down the shift key, bring it down to the approximate location. 
And I don't mind, personally, if these legs don't match up exactly. But if you do, take a little more time with it. And normally what you're doing is modeling from a uh, picture anyway. You don't usually have the benefit of a 3D model to copy from. Okay, so how do we put these two things together? Because I want this to be one, this whole upper leg here, I want it to be one section. And I'm going to make this a separate lower leg and then the foot. So, first thing you got to do, in Editable Poly, go to Attach and pick the other segment, the other Editable Poly. Now they're one. Now you can go in and grab some polygons. And I want to bridge these two together. So, let's just grab, for example, those two and those two and do a bridge and you know it doesn't look quite quite right but I'm not gonna worry about it um, segments we'll put a couple segments I like to do this even though this model doesn't have it done is um, I like to taper it just because I think it looks cool and it cuts down on the weight so uh, yeah I'm changing it pretty much but you'll still get the idea how to do this so notice that this, this model is pretty much done. This is an upper leg model, and this is pretty much complete. It's watertight. It's got a little bit of definition. It's going to lend itself much easier to texturing. One thing I didn't mention is that this existing model was textured by just uh, putting a box UVW map on everything. But ideally, what you're going to do for texturing is you will take... Um, each model and unwrap it and then paint your own texture on it which is not only usually has a better result but it's a lot of fun I think at the same time um, I think I'm probably running out of time but here you can see how we've done two models and so you would do that for the lower leg and the foot and this mechanism that rotates and the head and in the end, you might have 15 components instead of about 120. Um, and then we would put our rig in. But I'll do some more of this in a later tutorial.